Crystal gardening? Crystal gardening? What's crystal gardening? Actually, this is not how this works. Follow me, I will show you. Of course, I cannot grow crystals on my own and I need a great team. Said we can grow crystals from many different materials, various semiconductors, oxides, and fluorides. In order to start the process, we need some feedstock. For instance, silicon chunks. The material needs to be pure and properly cleaned. Then we place it into a pot called crucible. A tiny one or a large one. The crucible with feedstock is put inside one of these beautiful and sophisticated machines called poolers, where the entire growth process is happening. And then we just start cooking. Just kidding, but it's very, very similar. The raw material in crucible is heated until it is totally molten. Then we dip a thin seed made of perfect crystal material into the molten silicon. Rotate it and slowly pull it up so that the silicon crystallizes to the seed, like a rock candy. By changing the melting temperature, rotation and pull speed, we can change the crystal diameter. In the end, we get a beautiful crystal like this or like this or like this. Welcome to the characterization at the Institute for Crystal Growth. We characterize the material in terms of its purity. We're checking for impurities, which is dirt in the crystal, but our crystals are actually pretty clean, so we have to look very close into it and use electrons to look at this. The impurities are very important. They are responsible for the properties of the material. We have to check closely and control them, so we are like the quality management in the Institute. Crystal growth started with a simple idea discovered by accident. This happened to Mr. Trokalski more than 100 years ago when he dipped a pen into liquid metal. Then we build more complex experiments and perform various in situ observations. For example, we measure the temperature with an infrared camera. These measurements help us to validate numerical simulations and finally to design complex setups for crystal growth.